Now here we are going to see one more example in ring theory where it is given to us that A is a non-zero element which is nilpotent in a commutative ring which is important in a commutative ring R then 1 minus A is a unit. So if A is nilpotent then 1 minus A is a unit that is what we have to prove. For that purpose, we will just recall the definition of unit. So what is a unit? A non-zero element A is said to be a unit if we are able to find an element belonging to R, we are calling it as B, such that AB is equal to 1 is equal to BA, then we will say that A is a unit because its inverse exists and the value of that inverse is nothing but the inverse of A is B. But remember, whenever the ring is commutative, it is enough to show that AB is equal to 1 or BA is equal to 1 because if the ring is commutative, ultimately AB and BA will be one and the same, right? This you have to remember. Now, let us start. So, I will say let A not equal to 0 be a nilpotent element in a commutative ring R. So, what does it imply? Remember the definition of nilpotent. This will imply there exists a positive integer m such that a raise to m is actually equal to what? 0. Now let us note one thing. Note that what will be 1 minus a raise to m? See, I have written a formula here. This is a well known formula. What is 1 minus a raise to n? It is 1 minus a multiplied by 1 plus a plus so on up to a raised to n minus 1. If we use this formula, then what will happen? This will be equal to 1 minus a, 1 plus a plus a square and this will be continued up to a raised to n minus 1. This implies that the value of a raised to m is 0. So what it will imply? 1 is actually equal to 1 minus a. 1 plus a plus a square plus so on plus a raised to n minus 1. So what we have proved here? We have proved that we are able to find an element this is that such that 1 minus a into this element is actually equal to 1. So in other words what we have shown 1 minus a is a unit or even you can write this is further equal to 1 plus a plus so on plus a raised to n minus 1 into 1 minus a. Uh, here we have used using 1 and r is commutative. And this implies 1 minus a is a unit. So what we have proved? Given a non-zero nilpotent element A in a commutative ring R, then 1 minus A is a unit.